So like um, many in the low income downtown east side community, I oppose this project. Very few are coming today to state this because we all know what your decision is going to be and people are fed up with wasting their time in such an unwelcoming environment. So I just want to state again that the 561 condos proposed for Chinatown over the next couple of years with only 11 units of welfare rate social housing will have a gentrifying impact on housing and stores, will push up rents in the 388 privately owned units in Chinatown, as well as jeopardize low income shopping the Chinatown, Oppenheimer area, and Strathcona residents do in Chinatown. Councillor Jang says that this council has a deliberate policy of social mix and that this isn't gentrification. So I want to talk about social mix. If you want social mix in Point Grey, great. Put some low income housing there, put a safe injection site there, put a food bank there, and services income people, like the services that the higher income people have, that's fine. But it's a different story when you're using social mix rhetoric to justify taking land that poor people need for housing and push them up, pushing them out of the community that they've built. In practice, social mix in the downtown east side has meant incentives for the rich in the form of taxes for London drugs and nesters and nice fat height increases for condo developers like this one. In practice, Social mix means residences like Woodward's in the 955 East Hastings that exclude the poor with separate entrances and amenities. In practice, social mix means security guards to harass the poor if they dare to enter a high-end store. It means condoning the tax cuts that wipe out the revenue needed for social housing. Social mix means destroying more low-income housing that, in, that is created from community benefit crumbs. Social mix is based on a poor bashing idea that if poor people live next to richer people, the behavior of the poor will change and they will magically become recognize that people are poor because our economy doesn't churn out enough decent jobs, because some jobs don't get you out of poverty, because some people can't work or can't work at traditional jobs, and because welfare and disability rates are abysmally low. Social mix is actually a neoconservative theory that assumes you don't need policies like decent wages, unions, adequate welfare and disability, or social housing to improve lives. All you have to do is mix poor people up with richer people. A very convenient theory if someone wants the land that the poor occupy to build condos on, and if government pays taxes for social programs, or have decent regulations around work and wages. Councillor Chang often articles about the alleged benefits of social mix. I can quote you back a lot of urban geographers who say the opposite. Loretta Lees says the rhetoric of social mix hides a gentrification strategy and a hidden social cleansing agenda. She says over the long term, quote, poor people suffer more from the loss of benefits of living in a poor neighborhood than they gain from living in a more affluent one. Paul Cheshire and Martine August, August are two other academics who say similar things. If you not want to know what would help a low income person in the downtown east side, the best way to find out is to ask them. And when you do this, as we did for our vision for change, they don't say a quarter million dollar condo will help me. Stores that sell six dollar slices of cheesecake will help me. Being followed around by security guards when I go to Tinseltown will help me. They don't say that. They say social housing will help me. Higher welfare will help me. Treatment on demand and good ser social services and health services will help me. Slowing gentrification will help me. Being in a community where I'm not judged will help me. Being in a community where I can volunteer and contribute will help me. Being part of working for justice will help me. Being with my friends who are accepting will help me, and I can help them too. So I guess what we're hoping is that you'll look way closer at this social mix rhetoric, because it's blinding you to gentrification and the displacement of low-income people in the soul of Vancouver. Wow, thank you very much. 
exactly on five minutes as well. Are there any questions? There's no questions.